What's up guys, it's Gavin here, to, back with some more Turbo Space Program. Um, so, I've been asking around, and most people say they want to, they want to see a flying aircraft carrier. So, if you know X-Men, they've got a flying aircraft carrier. That's not what we mean. By flying aircraft carrier, we mean a plane that carries other aircraft. In this case, they're going to be drone-guided missiles. Because everybody loves themselves some drone-guided missiles. Right? Right? If not nobody? Uh, okay, well, I'm sure America likes drone-guided missiles. So, we are going... So, we're going to be making a plane that is sturdy enough to carry at least... Two smaller planes. It's gonna have to be a big plane. And for this to work, um, yeah. For this to work, I think we're gonna put the wings and, um, as high up, high up, instead of very low, because then it would affect the landing procedures, but. So we might have to go with, we might have to go with four engines, and, but who knows? Because I've made a flying aircraft carrier before. It was the front of a commercial jumbo jet, and then the back we I turned into a flatbed. But I guess I deleted that, and it can only carry one plane at a time, which would be a which was a waste. Sorry, the game's lagging a little bit, I guess. But, um, there we go. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the small aircraft. Um, we're going to need, So this is our base. Wait, let me check. Um, coupling. I'm just gonna go to standard docking. Okay, yeah, that's about right. Oh no, it's not. Hold up. I okay. Remote guidance unit. That's the right size. Yep. Okay, so I'm looking at station A thrust. This one's got way more. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw on about maybe a medium right there. Throw that on. And then I have to go to aerodynamics. And I'm going to, I have to, I don't have to, but I'm going to want something that's going to let air in. So... But I also want to have the, um, whatever we call it, fan shroud? Oh, no, that's like a plane or something. Uh, radial intake, what does that look like? It ain't the best. Actually, we might be able to work that out. We might be able to squish that down underneath. There we go, yep. We got that. So now, how I usually make uh, my fronts is I get a fairing. Yeah, that, that looks pretty nice right there. I'm gonna say it's got. And 
And then what I do is I usually just like sticking like a... I'll stick like something... Small holding tank now. Actually, usually I don't know what I'll stick in there, but... Today, I'll stick in this thing. I'll make it silver. Actually, if I can, what I'm going to do, instead of doing that, coupling... One problem, this has to go on the bottom. You guys, up here, this is where we're going to have to have our docking port. Now, do we... What docking port do we want, Junior? Actually, and by the way, we could do like a super good engine, like something like the Panther, the Whiplash, the, uh, I'm pretty sure there's one more engine. The Vector, throw up like a literal rocket, Dart. Actually, this has got better gross. How does that look on the back? If I, like, whip that on the back. That looks supersonic. Okay. So, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just extend it just a tad bit more. So I can do that. So now I'll do... A junior docking port. And then I'm going to name this the V, I'm going to name this the V17. We'll save that. New. Okay. What we're going to do, we're going to use this Mark III cockpit. Uh, for aerodynamics, we're going to need a nose cone. I could have done that, but I just realized that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get these cargo bays just because. Okay, so I know that's the wrong way it's supposed to open up like this. But the problem is I want that not to open up like that. And that. Eh. It's fine, I guess. Now we go back to aerodynamics. We're going to get these main wings. I know you're thinking that's not as high as you said you want it. I know, but I'm just real quick putting them in. So that's a regular tail fin. I need shuttle tail fin, I think. Oh, yeah, the, yeah this thing. Now, wing-wise, I 
I would want them like right there. Then I'm going to want. Hmm. So I have an engine in mind. It's called the Goliath Turbo Fan. Wait, Turbo Fan? Turbo Fan engine. You could stick some of these on. They're a little bit big. But we can mess around with them and see. That's facing up. Nope. Okay, hold up. Let's rotate this to face the way that we want it to. That'd be straight. We might just be able to get away with like one with like one on each side, make it a twin. Actually, nope, these engines are too big. You might be saying, too big? How big do you want to make him? Pretty big. Let's see. 130... One sixty two. There was one more, right? One sixty two. Oh, wait, I gotta put our nose coat on first. Uh, do we want these things? I don't think so. Circular intake. Yeah, sure. Now, I hope you guys know I am not basing this off of anything, so... So I'm going to name this the, the CM for Carrier Mothership. Then I'll do eighteen. The CM eighteen. Um, I know there's some way. It, how do you copy? Uh, I know you could copy, like, other things, but. <sighs> Uh-oh. By the way, I just realized I do not have landing gear. Switch editor, utility. One thing I am gonna do though is I'm gonna put two drag shoots on the back of that. Um, so this is actually gonna be a longer video if you. Uh, I just want to mention that, so if you don't like longer videos, this video might not be for you. Yeah. 
large landing gear. So I'm gonna get a large landing gear out here. Okay. Okay, so now that we've got that, I'm actually going to need to move this down a little bit. Actually, so that's lower than I intended it to be. Oh my gosh. I did not move this wing. That's level with it, right? It's about like right there. Yeah, they're about the same level. Okay, so now we need to make points that will attach. It would also help maybe if I did not this. I don't need that anymore. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is to use bad boys. On the wing tips. You think that's good? Yeah, it should be good. Uh, how tall are they again? I'm gonna look at the picture. No tail fin. Okay, I remember that. Wait, did I even give it wings? I did not give it wings. So it ain't really a guided missile. It's just a. It's just a. Uh, I don't know. Science buoy. I, I guess. I don't know. Um, so this thing probably could be used for science, honestly. And what I'll do is, in case we're ever doing refueling, So yeah, so this right here, what I'm making, this is for refueling. Now that I think about it, I might want to put this down a little bit more. Because of those parachutes. So I'll... And then, so there's no actual like refueling mid-air module or whatever. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to strap this thing onto the back of it if I can get it to stay. There we go. So what this will do is you could... This so it would connect to the back a little bit. So we got that. So in real life, there was a Boeing 747 that was going to have 10 micro fighters inside of it. And they would be lined, and they were lined up. There was two bays down here that would open up and let, and arms would come out, pick the fighters up. So I don't have that capability. But what I do have is robotics. Even though I have no idea how to use any of this stuff. Um, worth a shot. Hinge, heavy motor. Um... Telescoping, hydraulic, hydraulic cylinder, hydraulic. How do I know which one is the one I'm looking for? Hinge. Is there like an arm that I'm, I can attach? There's a hinge. That's going to be my close. Oh, that's big. Never mind. Never mind. I'm not doing the big hinge. Oh, why do I? I'm blanking out. I feel like there's like a. I've seen. Oh, it's uncoupling. It's uncoupling. Where is it? Where is it? It's the, it's the uh, grabbing unit. We don't want that. We want the junior. That, that sounds wrong. Okay, that's still a little big, but it's better, it's better, it's better. Traverse rate, 70. Um, that's behind the landing gear, so I'm fine with that. I just have to move it a little bit more, and maybe boom. So now I think the only thing that I have to do now is maybe load this, but okay, we're not gonna talk about what just happened. Uh, uh microfighter. Um... Wait a second. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, this is the old carrier that I had made. It works. Okay. It. It ain't the best, but we're looking for the CM. There we go. Um, now we have to figure this out. Delete merge. That's what the button is. It's merge. Okay. I will be, be the only real. I make you real. Make you not. Ah, oh. uh, okay, sorry. Um. Uh oh. Uh, the plane is no. The plane is not supposed to be doing flips. And no, I completely forgot some of the controls to try to attach this thing. So I'm messing around with controls. Um. 
Give me a second. Select attack point of part. Um, that's not what I was trying to attach it to, but at least we know that, yeah, it wants to try to be annoying, and, like, bruh, who it would ever do something like this? How is it, why is it so hard to attach this. Oh my gosh. I'm deleting that and that. And then I'm just going to manually make a fighter to attach this. Because. So I guess I'll be able to use it. Structure. I'm going to get this radial attachment point. Attach that right there. Then now, now this is what calls for. Um, yeah, right there. And then now I'm going to get my that. I'm going to throw on the dart engine. Actually, what I could do. What I am going to do is, so I can actually steer it a little better, I'm going to throw on what's called RC, RCS. RCS helps, to, uh, helps stuff mainly in space, but it can also help in um, other situations. Like when you're trying to build a guided missile without the guided missile part. It's very confusing. You need the guided missile part to make a guided missile. I don't know how. I don't know why. Whoever made a guided missile need think thought that you need to add the guided missile part in the guided missile. So that's an inline stabilizer that will help um, it stay on course. So what I could do actually instead of getting that, I'll delete that. I'll get a fairing. You might be saying, oh, why do I need a fairing? Well, if I press some random buttons, I, yep, I got it. So now what I'm going to do, aerodynamic properties. Because I want it to aim down more, I'm going to go like this. So what I'm gonna, so what can I attach to that? Nope, that's too big. Oh, this X. So this is gas. So actually, this gas might work. Too big. And then what I'll do is I'll attach that to something like, wrong thing, uh, aerodynamics, so that's obviously too big, small nose cone, I might be able to do that, but wait, wasn't there, I was staring at it earlier, I bet, tiny nose cone, nope, too tiny, very small, nope, okay, well, I guess we're just going to have to go with the small nose cone. So that right there is what we're working with.
I think it go. I think it should go like that. Yeah. Okay. So this right here, it's not where I got it, Miss what I said, but this should work. Now they don't have any landing gear. And the point of this was a flying aircraft carrier, not a flying missile launcher. So this will be just a test run to make sure that this will actually fly. And guess what? I figured something out. I figured out why my planes have not been taking off recently. I've been pressing the wrong button. I know. Big surprise. I've been pressing the wrong button this whole entire time. I haven't even been noticing it. But so now once this loads, we should be at the normal runway. The, the concrete one. Yeah, oh! Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't. No, stop. Stop. Stop dampering. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Traverse rate. Zero. Stop traversing! Stop traversing! Stop traversing! Radial direction. Um, power. Oh my gosh! Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Uh oh, that ain't what we wanted. Uh oh. Uh oh. This thing naturally wants to take flight. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. 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 Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Oh my gosh. Okay. Why? What is the problem? I figured it out. Aerodynamic properties. I'm going to move this down one. I can't really move it down one. I'm just laying it here. Okay. Let's try this again. This is, this is going to go terrible, even if this thing is able to take off, because launching, launching drones into the sky for surveillance missions. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Luckily, that back part down there stops that. Uh oh, no, 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 I do not wanna, no, this is not what this plane is supposed to do. Um. Okay, hold up. Uh, just some minor inconvenience. I'm gonna move the wings up to see if that's what's causing it. Even though I want those wheels behind that, I think that looks weird, so. Okay, let's try this again. <sighs> if this doesn't work, um, this is gonna be a, a video on the long, on a long side of it, so. Oh yeah, it'd also help maybe drag thermal cheats if it propellant. Six thermal. Uh radiation, conduction, convection. Eh, we'll be fine. Who's ever let some physics get to them? It's not like we need physics to live. I guess we do. Yeah, so this thing is not one to take off. Okay. Nothing went wrong there. It was just some fireworks. Yeah, 
fireworks. Fireworks. That's gonna be a large wake. I just, I uh, not wake, but you know what the word I'm looking for is. Okay, I've adjusted it. If we have to, I might need to put some weight inside, fill it up much as I can. Oh, 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 Riley's auto parts. Okay, we ready? Full power the thing. Actually, what I'll do is I'll even open the airlock. Actually, no, that's a terrible idea. That's gonna fall off. Um. At what point do I enter? Okay. Uh-oh. The thing... Whoa! Whoa! I wanna fix it! Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. Why is it leaning? Why is it leaning? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no. Why? Why? Why is it doing that? Why? No. Okay. Okay. Uh, revert back to space main hangar. We messed up some stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay. So now we gotta redo these engines. Um. Rapier engines. Those are always a good sign. The problem is, we're leaning back. Actually, I was leaning more to the... <gasps> you wanna know why? I'm removing this right here. I have to remove it, I believe. And then what I'll do to, to counter myself out, I'll stick one... Um... Radio, I want the large one. OBS, no. One large, yeah, there we go. Okay, never mind, I'll, we'll try it without a weight inside, see how that works. Those engines kind of give it a little bit of a boost. So this thing, in theory, should be able to travel to space if I can actually fly it straight. So now I removed everything that I could. Of course, you just don't want to work for me, of course. Okay, I'm sorry, guys, for the video being super long. Hey, you know, this cannot get any worse, technically, so. We've got this, guys. We're professionals, I believe. I hope so. Um. These Reaper engines are already, I have a feeling this thing's gonna fly back. Something about this plane not looking like a normal plane. Tells me that this thing is probably gonna fly back. Why are these armed like this? Uh oh. And I don't wanna hit those ending lights. I think I hit the ending light. This thing can actually take off though. If it hits something, I guess. Can't fly on one, on one wing though. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's try that again, guys. Uh, so if this does not work, I'm gonna actually sign off. This is the last thing that we're gonna do since the video is getting to 40 minutes. It's on air breathing right now.
Bu Oh, 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 why please? Auto part. Okay, we're gaining speed. We also might be, we're gaining altitude. Okay, okay, this is good, this is good, this is good, it's good. This is good, guys, this is good. Okay, okay, we're making successful missions. Okay, we got this, we've got this. Let's just open that up real quick, see what that looks like. Now the problem, uh-oh. The problem is, you don't, you've got limited control with this. I'm going to turn it, like, right up there. Okay. Pro gray, retro gray. Okay, so listen up. Um, we're gonna rewrite the launch. That was really good, other than the sequence was messed up and I forgot to decouple them as soon as. Okay. Um, we got this, okay. Because it worked for the most part. Wait, those are full, right? Yeah, they are. So those are acting like waste, bro. Well. These en these two engines should kick us up into the sky. Ooh, okay, bring up the landing gear. Lights up. Actually, I could post this on the Steam Workshop if you want. So the Steam Workshop is where you can get all a bunch of mods if you did not know. And I'm thinking about putting this on the Steam Workshop for you guys to enjoy. Uh oh, why did it go so bad? Why, why did it, why did I enable that? I'm having trouble clicking. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Why, normal, normal, normal. Oh no, 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 no. I'm trying to recover this, I'm trying to recover this. That's it. Deploy parachute. Drop that, okay. Drop, I'm trying to drop that, but it won't, it's turning too fast. Okay, guys, 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 I got this. Most important pilot, go. I would do not survive. Oh, okay. Um. Okay, guys. The pilot did not survive, nor anybody else. Um. So I think that's gonna be it for this video. I'm gonna make up up uh, upgrades, but real quick, so you guys see, I'm exporting. This thing's gonna be going on. A st this guy. This thing is gonna be going on a Steam Workshop. Okay. Goodbye.